Hey YouTubers, Minnow here, and today I want to show you how to install Windows 8 in VirtualBox. So first of all, open up your VirtualBox and click on New. Uh, let's call this Windows 8. Now please note that if you're installing a Windows 8 64-bit, you have to select 64-bit from the drop-down box. For this video, I'm gonna do a 32-bit. So for 32-bit, uh, two gigabytes of RAM is more than enough, so let's do that. Create your virtual hot drive. Virtual box disk image that's just fine. I'll choose dynamically allocated for this one. Now for the hard drive, I want to do a 40 gig hard drive and click create. What I do next is uh, make sure you have your um, virtual machine machine selected and click on settings what I like to do is go through all the settings here like shared clipboard set this to bi-directional drag and drop set to bi-directional also when you mouse over something it will give you an indication in this box down here what it actually does let's go to system 2 gigs is just fine I want to disable the floppy drive for the boot priority order, I want to boot it off the hard drive. I'll give this one two core processor. Go to display settings. This is all just fine for now. Now go to storage, click on empty and then click on the CD icon to the right. For this one I have an ISO file, so I'm gonna choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. If you have an actual physical disk, just pop it into your computer and it shows up should show up right here at host drive and just select that drive for this one I'm gonna choose an ISO file so choose a virtual CD DVD and I'm gonna hit this one which is Windows 8 32 bit English and head over to network attach to NAT I'm gonna set this to bridge adapter so it will use your physical network uh, cart to get uh, in it access to the internet. What I also like to do is I have a shared folder. Uh, if you want to make a shared folder between your host computer and your virtual machine, just click on fo uh, shared folders and click on the folder with a plus sign on the right. For folder path, uh, click the drop down box and select other and select your folder or if you want to make a folder just hit uh, desktop and then create a new folder here I'm sorry about my Dutch windows now I've already made a folder and I called this shared folder so I'm gonna hit that and I hit auto mount so it automatically mounts to the virtual machine every time I start it up now you can also select read only, but you won't be able to modify your files in your virtual machine. So I, I just leave it like this and just hit OK. Click OK. Make sure your virtual machine is selected on the left here. This one. And hit start. And it will start up your virtual machine. And here we go. Automatically go into the installation process. Uh, the installation process will ask you the language which you want to install. For this, I'm going to install uh, English, United States, time and courtesy format, English, United States is just fine, keyboard or input method, US. I'm going to leave it at this. But obviously, if you want to install it in a different language, if your uh, disk supports it, you can select uh, a different different language or different time and currency format in the drop down box. Once you've done that just click on next and click on install now and the setup will start up. So then you get to your product key activation. Here you have to put in your uh, product key and after you hit it, your product key just hit en uh, next at the bottom right corner here. Obviously, I'm going to cut the video here because I don't want you guys to see my product key. After you click next, you get the uh, license terms. 
and you have to agree with all these terms you can read through it if you want obviously you're agreeing to it so just hit the checkbox on the left and click next don't click on upgrade click on custom install windows only advanced here select your partition if you only have one partition it should be selected anyway just click on next and then we'll continue the installation process and from here on out I'm gonna cut the video and get back to you guys in a bit and finally after a long wait the computer will reboot so here we go and it will boot back up and we'll continue the installation and it's going to reboot again here we go the rest of the installation now you can per personalize your Windows 8 just click on any of these colors you want you can also modify this later on in Windows itself what I like is blue I just like the blue I don't know why oh I like this color <laughs> looks like the background anyway you can give it a PC name you can give it like uh, your first name dash PC or something express settings is just standard settings I'm just gonna go for the express settings now you can, can connect this to your Microsoft account but if you don't have a Microsoft account and you don't want to create any just click and uh, log in without a Microsoft account at the bottom and then click local account and you can type in your username for me I'm just gonna click hit menu you can put in your password if you want and a password hint but if you're just using a username just insert the username and then just click on finish and it's finalizing the installation oh hi Windows yeah check out these awesome new ways to use Windows I personally am not a really huge fan of Windows 8 but it's it's um, it runs a lot lighter than Windows 7 does so yeah I will tell you to move your mouse into any corner but and again this will take a few more minutes yeah let's start that would be awesome so here we go, here we got our Windows 8 in VirtualBox. You can click on your desktop uh, to install the rest of the drivers for Windows 8 in VirtualBox. You gotta click on Devices at the top and click on Install Guest Editions. I'm just gonna show you this again, Install Guest Editions. You can do a Windows plus E uh, button combination here to go to your computer or you could just go to the top right top right corner with your mouse click on search and uh, just hit in computer like this and just click on computer you will get this screen now from here on it says VirtualBox guest editions just double click that and click on V box windows editions just double click that to open hit yes give it the rights to modify things on your computer and, oh it just popped down there so this is the guest editions installation just click on next click on next click on install and it will install all the drivers you need now this screen might pop up I'm just going to tag this and hit install. It should take like maybe like a minute. Oh, that's it. And you want to reboot now. So 
So let's boot it back up. Just click on desktop. And we'll go to your desktop. And once you've installed the guest editions, you can see that if you um, go to computer, you see the shared folder right here and all the files that I've got in there. So I don't know, WordPress and FileZilla, XAMPP, Joomla, uh, Joomla template, Norton Ghost. So if you just, uh, oh, what was it again? Top right corner with your mouse, click on search, you type in computer, and you right click on the computer on the left here. You should be able to, oh, there it is, properties at the bottom. And the left side click device manager. And here we tell you that all of the drivers are installed for everything. Also, oh, I forgot to mention that, if you go back to search again, and uh, you type in computer, right click it, click on properties, so you get to this screen. At the bottom you can here see that Windows is not yet activated. Just click on view details and Windows activation. And obviously, if you have a right key, you can activate it with your key <laughs> right here. Apparently, mine doesn't work anymore, so that's the sad part. But anyway, so that concludes this video on installing virtual, um, what was it, Windows 8 in VirtualBox. So, like if you like this video, also comment in the comment section below if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for other future videos. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this or just like the sound of my voice or the screen or logo and whatever so anyways see you guys later bye